European Formula Ford 2000 champion, welcome back to Modelo. Thank you very much, Alan. Well, that's quite a mouthful and uh, quite a title. Are you very pleased? Yes, I'm very pleased that it all worked out as it did. It's been a, a magic season for you. There doesn't seem to have really been any snags along the way. No, not really. I'm starting to hit a few now. <laughs> But it was okay early on, it was very, very good. The luck went with me. At the moment, I'm having a bit of bad luck, but hopefully it will come right today. Now, it's taken you to all of those magic names, names like Nürburgring, the Spa, all the, the circus that we only read about in, in uh, comics. Yes, that's right. Well, the Nürburgring was, was probably my best win because I love the circuit, you know, it's 14 miles long, and I've got the lap record there now. And Spa is something like it, it's eight miles long, but those two circuits, well, there's something else, you know, it's what, that's what motor racing is all about. But now, you're a professional motor racing driver, and you've had how many wins this year? I had 12 wins. Yet, it's a very, very thorny road up the motor racing ladder. Um, how on earth, where do you go from here? Well, I have to do Formula 3 next year, or Formula 2, but Formula 2 is a little bit far out. But Formula 3, I must get the money to do Formula 3, which is quite a lot of money. But then I must prove myself in that to get into Formula 1. Now, you'd hoped to do Formula 3 this year, but, uh, in fact, you couldn't get the money together. And mm. yet, after a superb season in England last year. Yeah, it's, it's just not good enough to win championships. You just have to know the right people, and you have to have the luck with you. But it's very encouraging to see Irish sponsors supporting a professional Irish driver. How did that come about? Well, it was it was lucky, really. You know, it was, was Sean O'Reardon. They, all they were looking for somebody to put their name to. So they got on to me, and all the, and having shopping centre came in with them, and it was, you know, it just worked out very, very good up, on, you know, until the end of this season, and then we have to work out what's going to happen next year. Now, of course, you've, you've done everything could ever have been expected of you this season. You've got to get a big pot of gold for next season. How much is a Formula 3 season going to cost you? Well, some people talk about 100,000, 120 even, there's somebody talking about, but if you had 80,000 pounds, you'd, you'd do a good season. And where do you get that sort of money from? maybe two, three different companies, maybe in Ireland. I don't think there's any chance of getting it anywhere else. Are you hopeful? I don't know yet. I really don't know. There's no, you know, we were taken, we were strung along so many times, you know, you can't be hopeful. Well, this is the place you learnt your art, you're on pole position for the race this afternoon. Are you hopeful of a good result? Again, you just never know. You know, you, I'll have to speak to you after the race and tell you. Who's the biggest threat? Well, obviously PJ, and maybe even Joe, Joe Green and Arnie, you know, everybody's there. It all depends on the start. Tommy Byrne, 